They work in that tune. Mm -hmm. They are. Myriad 3, the latest CD called Moons. That tune is called Unnamed Cells. Okay, so uh, what kind of cells? Prison <laughs> cells, uh, <laughs> cells in your body. <laughs> Uh, actually, the name comes from a, a video game called uh, Agar Agar.io. It's it's this is a real nerd talk. Only the real nerds might understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Agar.io. Agar. Agar. See you guys. See you guys. <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll, I'll see myself out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 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 just a, a term used for somebody who logs into the game without a name. Ah, okay. And but you play as a, a cell that's conquering other cells, but you don't have a name, so you are an unnamed cell. See, I always find it interesting uh, uh, the naming of songs that are instrumental, because the, the naming of a song, a, a lyrical tune, obviously, it, it's easier to understand why it's called whatever it's called, mm -hmm. because usually the song is the the words are are in and the title of the song is are in the words. Yeah. But in, in an instrumental, I mean, you could have called that Ernie. <laughs> well, actually, that's the fun. That's the funny thing with instrumental songs. So people say, "How did you name that song? Why is it called this? Why is it called that?" I said, "I don't know." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, funny. I don't know. It, it's it's funny too. Like, uh, you know, I, there's a song of mine on this album that's that's called Stoner. Um, and I, I okay, well, I can figure that one out. <laughs> well, this is the funny thing is because I wrote it after reading this this, uh, this novel called Stoner by uh, this author named John Williams, and it's like a really beautifully written, very sad book about this academic in the Midwest. And anyway, so I wanted to write this, well, I ended up writing this kind of austere, um, you know, uh, slow kind of ballad. And I called it Stoner. And then as soon as I called it that, I was like, oh, wait, we're going to have all kinds of ideas. About this. But I actually kind of like that. Like, I like the idea that the song can, you know, the title can kind of give people a window into, um, you know, interpreting the song in a certain way that, that might be totally different than the, what the songwriter intends. Well, here, yeah, just give you an idea. Yeah. These are very clever, cleverly named tunes. Mm. Skeleton Key, which we heard, that was the first one. Noyamas, N-O-Y-A-M-M-A-S. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I can tell the story on yeah. that one. So I have a three-year-old son, and we went to the High Park Zoo, yeah. and we were looking at the llamas. You, you let those uh, type of berries That was me. <laughs> <laughs> They're in my backyard. Uh, <laughs> So we were at the zoo, and we were looking at the llamas, and there was uh, some geese in there as well. And we were really close to the fence, and the geese honked really loud, yeah. and it scared my son. And he came running to my arms, and he said, No, Daddy, no llamas, no llamas! And so that's why we called it. All right. <laughs> the best part about that one was then we were, we were playing in, uh, in Madrid one time, and we went to announce that song, and this one's called No Llamas, and people in the audience kind of nodded. And we said... Oh wait a minute! Does it's that mean Spanish something word? in Spanish? <laughs> and it does. It means uh, it means like you never call. Oh. So then we started introducing the song as this is called "You Never Call." Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to be careful with that because it's <laughs> yeah. happened in the past where somebody you know and and you're you, you're taking a word and you're performing in Athens and in Greek it means like your mother you yeah. know whatever. The <laughs> <laughs> crowd's looking at you going, "Oh yeah, really? Yeah." yeah. Um, the name Stoner Peakfall. Oh yeah, That's yeah. I can't. I wish I could remember where I came up with that name. Um, I actually don't know if I remember, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Counter of the cumulus. Is that a cloud? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, these are. We have no idea. Sometimes we don't even know what's yeah. right. <laughs> uh, there's, 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 it's like it's a lot of herb in these. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Amelia's bird. Yeah, that's a place in, uh, in, on, in Ontario. Is it? Yeah. That's in uh, Prince Edward County, right? I think so. Yeah. 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 Sketch eight, the number eight. Oh, that that doesn't mean that really means nothing. <laughs> okay. That, that's that refers to a list. <laughs> that was just my eighth sketch. <laughs> <laughs> and it stopped there. And, um, it's, and it stopped there, and that was the one. Moons. Uh, that. Which is the title of the CD? Yeah, that was. Um, the reason I came up with that name is because on paper, when I wrote the tune, it was all whole notes, which are. You know, they just circles, on yeah. the, and it just looked like a bunch of moons on the, uh, and then it, it kind of has this like really spacey vibe, so it, it worked. Yeah, it's not yeah. moons the verb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too much, definitely not. Okay, he I moons. didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't until now. So. <laughs> Brothers Dom. Uh, Brother Dom. Dom. Yeah. I, I wrote that for my grandfather. His name was uh, Domenico. So. All right. And exhausted clock. 
I like that. That's a great name. Yeah, thank you. That's yeah. that was a piece of mine. Um, and I think it was exhausted clock uh, is a line that came from a poem uh, by a great American poet named Ben Lerner, who I was reading at the time. Mm -hmm. You can tell a little bit about each of us by how we name our tunes. Right? <laughs> His are all named after like literature. <laughs> if I did that, it'd be like. John Grisham books and <laughs> <laughs> airport novels and Archie comics. This one's called, Pen, this one's called Penthouse Forum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys have been around, I've been together for a while, as you, as you mentioned, and you, you seem to have a real good vibe together. And, and, and I understand even when you travel, you'll, you'll share one room. Well, we, we figured that out just because... You know, Guess how I know that. <laughs> yeah, right. GPK. <laughs> we well, it, it got to the point where we realized that, like, you know, we'd, we'd go check in at the hotel, and then we'd all just end up congregating in one place to like hang out and, and drink beers and maybe play video games. So we, we kind of for a while we were like, this is, let's just cut to the chase here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And how old are you guys? Uh, I'm 31. I'm 34. 32. No. I think. <laughs> I think you're 32. I think I'm 32. <laughs> That's the name of your next song. I think yeah. I'm 32. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta, hold on, I gotta write that down. Yeah. Uh, where will you we be playing next? Anywhere in the in the hood? Uh, actually, nothing booked in Toronto currently. We we just we just came from a, a lot of dates in Toronto. We were at the Jazz Bistro and, mm -hmm. and uh, the Emmett Ray and. Uh, yeah, we're, the summer isn't uh, isn't busy for us right now. Um, our next stop might be Tokyo in September. Mm -hmm. That's that's on the you've been the horizon. there. We have been there. We've been to Tokyo. We played at the Canadian Embassy actually. Really? Yeah. yeah. How beautiful. was that? Beautiful. Yeah, it was amazing. Really nice. we, we, uh, well, I'm sure it's sure beautiful. It's government money. It's not going to look like a bad Ramada. <laughs> <laughs> There's another title for you. Yeah. Bad Ramada. Uh, bad Ramada. Bad Ramada. It sounds like it could be a time hey, feel. This is really, great. I'm going to get all my titles for you. Yeah. Can, can I come next yeah. week? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll just sit in the corner. <laughs> so that must have been uh, quite the experience. Yeah, it was a beautiful embassy. I, I mean, I, I, don't, I haven't been to all the embassies, but I hear <laughs> the one in Tokyo is one of the nicest yeah. in the world. And, and how's, that, how's the Japanese audience? Now, uh, the audience is different than where you go, or... Jazz is really kind of the like universal uh, music, so are they yeah. really the same kind of? I would I would say they're pretty different all over the world. Yeah. I mean, in, in Japan, it's funny because the audiences tend to be um, 